Welcome to Everyday B Coding. I am Rajdeep. It is my first YouTube video. This is an EP Plus for beginner video series. In these tutorials, we will learn about how to develop Excel sheet using EP Plus. Let's start our tutorials. The first question, what is EP Plus? EP Plus is nothing but a advanced Excel development tools by using Microsoft. It is a library. It can read and write Excel 2007-2010 files using OpenOffice XML format. For example, XLSX and XLSSM. Here XLSM is macro enable Excel format. The next question, what type of support? EP Plus support Excel cell range, cell style, border, color, fill, font, numbers, alignments, chart, shapes, pictures, commands on Excel cell, tables, and many more. Next question, why we are using it? First of all, it is a free tool. Second, Microsoft Interrupt Service Library is the way you can do the same, but lot of complexity we are face when to deploy on application server. Please check this link. Here I am show this article for all the complexity we will appear when it deploy on application server. Okay. The next question, how to attach in our solution? You can do it in two way. First, follow this link and download this library. This is the link. You can download it from a zip file. In this zip file, we can found two version of EP+. First, .NET Framework 4 and second is .NET Framework 3.5. My solution is under .NET Framework 4, so I am using EP+ 4 library. Just open this Visual Studio, create a console application. I am already open this console application. Go to the reference section, add reference, browse from my desktop, open the EP Plus version 4.1 folder and there is a .NET version 4 library. Select this and add. Okay. Now you can see this EP Plus is already attached in our solution. Second, go to the package manager console under the tool menu. Make sure that your internet connection is active. Now you can type this following syntax. This is a install package EP plus. Copy this link and go to the Visual Studio and paste this. So I am already attached my EP plus library in this solution. So I have not run it, but you can do it through this package manager console window. In this solution, we need to add reference of EP plus. First go to my block. This is my namespace. I just copy this namespace. Go to my solution. Paste this namespace. After that, we need to use using system.io for save your excel sheet to your hard disk drive. Okay, fine. Now, this is this is a piece of code. I will I will execute. First of all, I write this code within auto generated program class within a main method. The main method, you know that the main method is the gateway of any console application. First, you need to Excel package. So there is a in the in between library Excel package is a one kind of class who can create your first excel package just copy this line and paste it the excel package is your starting class you just create a package that including workbook in in between workbook you can attach excel sheets and many more 
okay fine now this is a excel worksheet excel worksheet is the another class his responsibility to create a excel sheet in this case my sheet name is sheet 1 okay fine and after that I am specify the specific range of excel sheet here is a using code I just copy this from my blog and paste it here there is a excel range class excel range means you can specify a specific cell range within a excel sheet and this is the object of excel sheet and I am attach a cell property within this excel sheet object here I am specify first 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 so first comma is specify is row so which row you are starting I am specify 2 second is column which column you are starting and second is another row from which row to which row you are specify within a excel sheet and last one is column so if i am specify 2 and i am specify 3 here is a 2 row 2 from 3 second and third row is occupied for specific excel range okay and second one and fourth one is specified for column if I am specified 3 and I, if I am specify 4 the range will be selected from column 3 to column 4 so I am writing this code using this using tag okay I'm restore my code in this using tag I'm specify a range okay so what is range is row range is nothing but a excel range that I am using and range dot value the range class have a property value in this value I am typing a sample text that will be appear on excel sheet after that I am specify range dot march equals to true so in this case I am not merging any cell I am simply specify a specific cell and in between the cells I am writing this single line of code so don't need this I am comment this line after that I am specify excel range class have a another property is style and style have a another property font and as well as size I am specify 16 for font size and as well as font is bold so obviously font property is written boolean value I am specify true and I am specify italic the font style of this excel range so this is my following code to formatting a sample excel sheet ok now I am right to how to save this excel sheet into my drive go to my block here I am code copy this code paste it my visual studio window so excel sheet protection dot is protection equals to false what is this meaning the excel sheet one is the nothing but a object of excel sheet class ok I want to is there any protection issue in this excel sheet it's read always return boolean value so I am specify it's false okay so if I am log this excel sheet within this excel sheet cells then I am specify true for here but I am not log this excel cells okay so I am specify false in this case okay now I am save this excel sheet into my D drive there is a excel package first of uh, in the in the first line of your my code I'm specify excel package class in this in this package I'm writing this code all the code belongs to this package so in last 
we specify the Excel package and it has a save as method. In save as method, we are specify the following location where I am specify my Excel sheet. Okay, this is the file info class. The file info class is belongs to using system.io. Be remember, first of all, you can attach the system.io class, then you, you then you can use this file info class. Now execute this code. Okay. First of all, build this code. Build success. Everything is fine. Now can run this code. See what's happened. Now to open my system D drive, there is a Excel sheet. Now open my Excel sheet. Now welcome to everyday B coding tutorial for beginner. There is a second cell and it's starting from second column. Here is my specify in my code. There is a Excel cell range class who can specify the specific Excel range. And now you can see this using a specific Excel range. 